Right folks, I've just come up um, from Holford over there, just past the Bicknoller Post. I'm now going to be, I'm heading in the direction, rather than go over the top there and down over the top, I'm heading for the Bicknoller Coombe route. So I would have completed everything I wanted to do today. Right over there I was earlier, after doing a big swoop round, right over there, right on those, um, Dillsborough Hill Fort over there, uh, Holford Coombe, Holford Green, up Hodder's Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe, and now we're heading for Bicknoller Coombe. We sometimes do Weakham. And I did some exploring not long ago, the last walk. I did a little bit where I ended up on the Coleridge Way. That was quite a nice walk. I've been using both cameras. It does get complicated when you've got to sync them. Because sometimes a video from the Kodak will come before the video from the Sony. So they sort of complement each other, but it makes it complicated. But I mustn't erase this time. I thought I'd, do, why erase is I thought I'd done it. If I just looked in the book, I would have seen I hadn't done it because I hadn't written down the gigabytes, how many videos there were. But that's where I was earlier, right on the top of that. I went right down there. Meanwhile, I've been all over. Yeah. Not anywhere near Triscombe or Crocombe. Um, not Crocombe, Triscombe or West Barbara, no. I'm just hoping I'm going the right way, by the way. I could be going the wrong way, couldn't I? Do you know what I mean? You know, I reckon that's those people over there that I seen not earlier. A minute, let me have a look. I'm not sure. Yeah. It is them. I wonder if they're going to go to bit and all. They're going a different way to me. I hope I don't get lost. Yeah, you can get lost, Sheila. I always do. Oh, shit. I'm lost now. Is that the one that takes me down? Go up here a bit, go. I get this bit messed up all the time. All the time I get messed up. So I, I reckon that one take me down the top. I'm not sure. Let's go up here a bit more. We'll soon find out. I feel like the coombs further over, see? I feel like the coombs further over. muddle up all the time. I'd never get this bit right. Could be that. Could be that. I don't feel as if it is. I think it's, we turn off in a minute. Yeah, that, that couple there, they, what they've done, they're going down um, Weakham Valley. They're doing quite a big walk, actually. I, I'm sure they were following me at one point. They must have turned off. Because there's nowhere that they were behind me. 
can meet him in the village yet. They certainly get about. They were right over there. They were on the flipping hill fort. Yeah, here we are. Right, hold on a minute. Yeah, they've got, they're over there. Right, hold on. Going down. Bit not a coon. I'm doing a bit of video with Kodak for a part of this way down, then I'm going to try and put the Sony on again for comparison. I decided to get the five o'clock train, five o'clock bus. Because I can't make it for the half past one. There's no point trying. I need an hour to get down here if I want to enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? If I want to enjoy this walk. Sounded like something. I'm getting deeper into the coom now. Stop in a minute. Oh, look at that lovely lichen that. A lovely mossy tree. Isn't it lovely? Little stream down there, look. I did manage to see some deer, you know. As I was leaving the coombe, they sort of appeared out of the trees, as if to say, bye Sheila, we knew you. we're just saying bye to you. They came out, a whole group, including stag. You know, mix, stags and does. It's the way they came out, they would put, they quickened their step as if to say, which we know you've been through, Sheila, but there's a lot of people about. So we're just going to say hi to you before you leave. Yeah, they were there. They knew I was in there, they probably heard my voice. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, the landscape looks quite naked because the mosses, the um, bracken hasn't started to grow yet. So it all looks very raked and clear, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I thought, eh, I don't have to worry about getting the half four one. Get the five o'clock. You can enjoy this walk coming down here then. Might spot some deer on the way down. Right, two stages of the video now. I've come down Bicknoller Coombe, or Bicknoller Hill, whatever you want to call it. Heading towards the gate where I came through around about eight this morning. And uh, then I went up towards the Trendle Ring, up the short track, or short lane, whatever it's called which was very, very, very steep. Then I made my way around the top of it for a little while before heading back over near the Macmillan Way towards um, 
Hurdy Beacon, then over towards the Crocombe <coughs> Quantock Car Park, and then where did I go after that? Yeah, then I headed towards Dowsborough Hill Fort through lovely little pathways, real old gnarled trees. Then I came down after the hill fort, I came down the hill, did a few di silly diversions, but it's all a learning, learning about a place sometimes. Then down a very, very steep, slippery, stony, dry, powdery, slippery slope, um, which my knee did not appreciate, to Holford Coombe. Walk through Holford Coombe to Holford Green, then had a small picnic before going up Hodder's Coombe and the fords, crossing the quite dry streams really, it's not even summer yet, and heading, my, heading from Hodder's Coombe to Shepherd's Coombe and Bick Noller Post. From there I found the track that would take me to Big Noller Coombe and that's what I'm doing. I'm at the final stages of it at that gate. I decided on the five o'clock because I would have really had to put a speed on big time. Almost run. I've run through the village before actually. I thought no don't bother. Just get the five o'clock one. Get there for before five o'clock though. Um, get there before five o'clock in case it's early I've got a feeling it's around about the hour mark but it might be five past but I can't quite remember I didn't write that one down 